It's a quarter to nine this Wednesday morning. Good to have you with us. We're starting to get to the end of September, but uh, we're keeping our focus very much on Tourism Month as we start to get to the business end of it. Today, the Northwest Province going to be hosting World Tourism Day celebrations uh, up in Harder Beer Sport. It's under the theme Tourism and Green Investment. So how do those two worlds collide? Let's find out. Uh, Tamiun Gobeni up there. She's had a very tough gig today, having to hang out uh, in a beautiful Harder Beer Sport. Wish I could have sent you better weather, though, Tamiun. I'm afraid uh, that's my fault. I jinxed it. Uh, what else you have for us? Because it's going to be a massive day uh, for the province. I, I must tell you, though, Gareth, the weather has somewhat improved since we started earlier on today. It's gotten a little bit warmer. I know you would have wanted to see us on the slides, but alas, I've got a golf cart for you instead. As you mentioned, it is World Tourism Day, and we are right here in the Northwest Province commemorating and celebrating this global festival. Joining me this morning is the Deputy Minister of Tourism in South Africa, Deputy Minister Fish Masalela. A very good morning to you, Deputy Minister. How are you enjoying the ride to the venue? No, thank you very much and good morning to me. Well, it's, it's a first experience <laughs> <laughs> having an interview while I'm on a golf course. Well, we're all about first right here on ENCA. But talk to us about World Tourism Day, uh, Deputy Minister. The global theme, which speaks around uh, sustainability, it speaks around green investments, and how we as South Africa have adapted this theme and tailor-made it to suit us as a country. Uh, as you know, uh, today is the World Tourism Day, which is a, it's a celebrated worldwide. Uh, by the tourism industry, uh, initiated by the United Nations World Tourism Organization. We have, we have converted the green uh, tourism investment theme into our own theme, which is tourism uh, in, green, in investment in the green future. So what we are envisaging is that we, we see green investment as an opportunity not just to serve the planet but to serve the tourism itself because if we invest in green energy it has a lot of advantages for the sector but more importantly also it contributes towards the challenges of energy crisis that we confront ourselves as a country. And, and talking about energy and, and power, what is the role of public-private partnerships in pushing this theme of a green future, a green economy, while also stimulating the tourism industry in, in the country? We have been engaging and working with the private sector, encouraging them to invest in, in green tourism. As a department, we've got a green tourism a investment pro program which uh, we've, we've spent uh, close to 76 million uh, investing, working together with the private sector, where individuals apply to the department. And when we, we, we then give them a maximum of 1 million to be able to make sure that they save in energy, but also as well as in water. Uh, and that reduces the operational cost from the private sector which makes them therefore to make to save more energy and also save more water and as a result therefore operational cost get reduced which then allow them to maximize profit at the end is this conversion from um, you know regular energy to solar power to other greener energies something that's mandatory and, and how has the uptake been, actually, from the private sector in conversion of their properties? Well, the private sector in the tourism space has, has responded quite well uh, since the beginning of the load shedding somewhere in 2008. They started gradually to invest in green tourism. So that's why when, when we're hit by this uh, 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 I mean load shedding, uh, the, the, the hotels, uh, the lodges, uh, we're, we're already ready to, to meet the challenges. So that's why in most of the, of the, of the, of the hotels, uh, you don't have much of the problem 
though it's it's costly for them but the more we invest in the in the solar energy in other energies uh, we'll be able to save as much cost as possible possible and then be able therefore to sustain the industry and make sure that there is a sustainable growth at the end deputy minister thank you so much uh, for your time the Deputy Minister will be providing and giving uh, the keynote address later on this morning. Uh, we've just arrived at the venue, which is right here at the back. And this is exactly where the Deputy Minister, as well as all the guests and the exhibitors, will be for the rest of today. Um, I believe the event starts in about an hour's time. And in no time at all, there will be a buzz of activity here as uh, different stakeholders in the industry uh, participate in World Tourism Day. The Northwest Province is host to this event today, which wraps up the Tourism Month for South Africa. Coming to you live from the Northwest Province, this is Tamin Gubeni for the South African Morning right here on ENCA. Yeah, the wheels of tourism are still turning in if it is on a golf cart with our Tami back with us again uh, tomorrow morning as she heads off into what is going to be the end, uh, the final celebration uh, for Tourism Month in South Africa. Hopefully it has been a success. It takes us as well. Oh, that looks yummy. Not bad. Not a bad gig for Tami. Maybe bring me back something for breakfast. I'm quite hungry, actually.